Greetings Cosmos, and welcome back to Super Talking Time Bros. Yeah, not gonna bother with the best secret area this time. So, last time, I did some of these Pancake Plains areas, I think it was. And today I'm doing this castle, Fla oh, Flapjack Plains. Sure, by Xadir. One exit. Let's go. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Ah. Okay, so. S standard Super Mario Brothers X is a bit jumpy on my computer. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so how am I meant to get up there? Oh, I'm not meant to get up. I'm meant to bring things down. Other episodes have been training me not to go for the dragon coins because they're so usually so dangerous it's not worth it. Don't underestimate the power of the spin jump. The power of your drilling shoes can protect you from even the pointiest of foes. Uh oh. Ah. Woo. What the? Did that layer mess with that blarg? Okay, so. And there we go. Oh, hey, it's Bowser. Hey, Bowser. Well. Thank you, boss, but I think I dropped the princess in another castle. And thus ends the flapjack whatever the heck. Even though that castle was laggy, because regular Super Mario Brothers X and my computer. Flapjack fields, not planes. It was still a fun castle. World 2, Strawberry Hills. I enjoy strawberries. Autumn Woods by Gaumen? Gaumen. Oh, hey! The Zelda Woods theme. I say that like it's a theme for all Woods and Zelda ever. Not just the theme for Woods in the first Zelda I played. Oh hey! Yoshi friend! In the woods. Yeah, it kind of saddened me in a... What was that Zelda game? A Link to the Past. When... The music for the woods changed to the generic field theme. Hey, what do you have to say here? Thanks for cleaning my pipes, boss. I don't know why I'm giving an accent. But that's how I get down here in order to get whatever's up here. Now, why do I want to hit that? Oh, to get this? Okay, I'm gonna leave Yoshi over there so that Yoshi- Yeah, come back! That feels like something out of Super Mario Bros. 3. So you get an extra life and a dragon coin which points the way to another extra life. Alright, so... Don't know what to- Oh, hey, look, the ground changed. Almost as if I'm leaving the woods or something. That's weird. 
It's like the trees are less dense over that particular, uh... Oh, hey, that's how I get up there. Over that particular area, allowing the grass to grow. Alright, next. Beetle Bend by L. L, I thought you were dead. Okay, so this is going to have something in it for that to kick, right? Yes. And this will allow me to fly. Well, that was short-lived. Uh, I was hoping that one of these blocks would actually have something cool in it. Yeah, I'm making a conscious effort not to just break this level by flying over it. Fire! Alright, so... Ah. Mostly they're just gonna have coins in them, but this middle one, a flower. This level is offering a serious temptation to fly right over it. But that's okay, it's done now. I like how these levels are, you know, pretty short. Contests kind of discourage that Bonsai Bill Brush by Spoonie Bardo. Well, because whatever you're going to do in a contest, you need to do entirely within one level. So if you're, so you need to like introduce your gimmick, develop it, and then do what you actually want to do with it. Hey, boss, watch your out, watch out for the Bonsai Bills around here. Thanks for the warning. Nope. That's amazing. I forgot about that. That's why Bonsai was spelled with an S there. I love dumb little jokes like that. It's great. Hey, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Contests. Discourage having levels as short as you'll, you might get in a collab where you can... A collab where you can submit as many levels as you like, for example. Because, like, everything you want to do with, say, the contest gimmick, if the contest has a gimmick, you have to do in a single level. Unless the contest allows multiple entries, but most contests I've seen don't. I saw some bonsai bonsai bills up ahead, boss. Neat. But what's up here? <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, so that's the second of... Of five dragon coins. Third of five. Oh, trying to get me to abandon my Yoshi friend. I can't believe I managed to dodge that. Yoshi is friend. Must retrieve friend. And here we are. Close the loop. Now I can go on with friend. Woo! You know, it's funny. A lot of people really hate Navi from uh, Ocarina of Time. But when I played Ocarina of Time when I was younger, I appreciated her just for the company.
It's a, it's a weird thing I knew. Whoa. Come back, Yoshi. Yoshi. It's a weird thing I know, but just having a companion character with me in whatever game I'm playing makes me feel less anxious about the game. And that's why for the longest time my favorite character in Enter the Gungeon was the Hunter. Ghost Boy Party by Lumber Baron. The dog that you got was a... Uh, I mean, the dog sometimes discovered extra items, and that was useful, but mostly I liked the presence of the dog. Just because it, uh, was a companion in the horrors of the gungeon. I wasn't sure if I could hide under that. I haven't done a virus scan this week, I should do that. Afterward though. Oh wow, look at that. That is amazing. Ah. Well, I guess I have to abandon my unit. Ah, no! Well, I can't spin jump in here to to do omnidirectional ghost stopping, so guess I got to uh, just stay on one side to face the ghosts. So many places where secrets could reside. Ain't no party like a ghost boy party, because at a ghost boy party, you run and don't stop. I want to take flight, but there's so many ghosts above my head. I blame the wah, lag for that. I don't know if that crab was friend or foe. Whew. This level would have been more fun without the lag. I say. I say. Alright, let's try this level again. This is a mushroom no matter what, so you're not expected to... No! Why? Well, that is most upsetting. Having the lag kill my jump. Alright, so... Well, that was the most embarrassing jump. But where might secrets live in here? There is an entire secret exit, after all. And I've seen quite a few places where a secret might live. At the end of this segment, you might be able to jump off that ledge in order to, uh... Woo! Wow. Okay. At the end of this segment, you might be able to jump off that ledge where you're faced with so many ghosts in order to go further. In the next segment, where you're ascending all those flip blocks, you might be able to, uh... Nah. Wow. See, that's the thing I hate most about lag here. It moves extra fast afterward as if to make up for the lost time. Oh yeah, you might be able to jump off this ledge and find... Oh hey, there is in fact something over there.
Hey Toad, what is up? Hey boss, do you like the music? I composed it myself. I do like this music. I think it's supposed to be boring elevator music or something, but I've never understood the stigma of elevator music. And there's the secret exit. And just in time! My timer tells me that I should stop playing now. Alright, join me next time when hopefully it's lagging less. I don't know what background processes my system is running that make it lag, but look at this place. It looks promising. Join me next time when I visit this place. I'll see you then.